What's going on, Colts Nation? Appreciate you stopping by for another video where today we're going to be talking about guys that going into the game on Sunday, what are we looking at? What are we really looking to, to get from a preseason game, right? You can only get so much. You just want to see certain guys make plays. You want to look at different position battles, how are guys performing? And of course, after the game, going to go through, look at the film, try to figure out uh, what really went down. Down from down, I'm going to look at everything, right? So going to end up watching this game twice and we're going to talk about it, right? I'm about to uh, have plenty of time, right? The, my day job, we're closing down for a few days to uh, get a new floor put in. So uh, I'm going to have time. We're going to go over a lot of film this week after the game. But going into this game, what are we really looking at? Well, let me bring you over here. We're going to look at the depth chart, okay? This is on ESPN. And looking at the depth chart, we're just going to start at the top. From the quarterbacks, obviously, we just want to see Anthony Richardson, um, who is going to be playing. Starters are playing. So you have Anthony Richardson going to be in the game. You just want to see him complete some passes, uh, maybe get some rushing yards, protect himself. That's really what we're looking for. Uh, have him protect himself, See, make sure the offensive line is going to be able to block guys and that they can protect them. So that's really what we're looking for there. Um, then we have Flacco, Ellinger coming in behind uh, him. And right now, Keaton Slovis is on the depth chart as the fourth. Um, today during practice, you actually had Jason Bean taking reps with the third team is what I saw. So that third position seems up in the air. We'll be paying close attention to what's happening with the third string uh, quarterbacks and how much playtime all these guys are getting, who's making plays out there on the field. Then for running back, really just looking at what's happening behind Jonathan Taylor. Right, We expect Trey Sermon to have a good grip on the second team right now. But where's Evan Hole going to fall on? It's obviously Tyler Goodson. He's been in there a little bit. We know who he is. What's Evan Hole going to give us? He had a good preseason last year. We'll see. Can he replicate that and push himself into the second uh, running back role going into the season? Uh, from wide receiver, we just want guys to stay healthy. That's really it. We feel good about depth. At least I feel good about our depth uh, going into the season. You know, Josh Downs is not a season-ending injury, so he'll be back hopefully week one, if not week one. Um, then maybe week two or maybe week three at the very latest. So um, going into it, expecting him to be back. So you look at it. You know, we draft A.D. Mitchell this year, draft Anthony Gould this year, who sounds like he's making plays, a lot of plays on the second team during practice right now. And he's uh, set back there as a uh, kick returner, punt returner with um, with Josh Downs out. He's actually the number one punt returner with Josh Downs out. So Anthony Gould, feel good about him. Ashton Doolin's coming back. We still have uh, D.J. Montgomery, who's seemingly going to be on the practice squad. So feel good about wide receivers. Just want them to stay healthy. And, of course, tight ends now. This is where an interesting conversation comes up is because what we're really looking for, I think, now of all the people listed here, they they actually don't have Will Mallory. They only go up to fourth, um, the fourth string guys. So Will Mallory is a guy that's very interesting. Okay, I saw Destin Adams say today one of his practice notes was that he's getting worried about Jelani Woods. Okay, and we're going to have a video talking about Jelani Woods tomorrow, um, and we'll get more into that. But I have not been feeling very good about Jelani Woods. I thought there'd be more said, right? That's the guy we expected to come in, physical freak. Um, the, the year with Matt Ryan, he made a few plays for us. Seems like people not feeling great about uh, Jelani Woods right now, which is unfortunate. Molly Cox is going to be a blocking tight end for us. We already know what his role is going to be. Um, Kylan Granson is going to get on the field because of what he can bring, his familiarity with everybody, second year in the offense, just like everybody else. So Kylan Granson, I mean, he's a mismatch kind of guy. So you throw him in there. Um, and then you have Drew Ogletree, who seemingly – because of the experience in the offense last year um, and also just kind of how he's looked in practice. I think he's over Jelani Woods right now, in my opinion, uh, from everything that I've seen. 
But then there's Will Mallory, who again, not listed on here. And Will Mallory seems like a guy that could come up and potentially be the guy that takes the reins, right? We talked about that during the live stream. We need guys to take the reins of certain positions. Tight end's one of them. If it's not Jelani, hey, Will Mallory keeps making plays. He missed a couple practices with a hamstring injury, comes back today, makes a couple plays, including a touchdown on the second team. So it sounds like Will Mallory just might be the guy that steps up and takes that tight end role. And that's what I'm going to be looking for. That's why he's on the thumbnail. That's one thing I'm really looking at uh, this upcoming week is going to be Will Mallory and what he does in the game. What do the other tight ends do? Do the other tight ends produce, right? Drew Ogletree is a big target. Jelani, big target. Will these guys get the ball? Really, really looking forward to what we're going to see from the tight end position. And again, Will Mallory just I, I think he's the guy. It sounds like he's the one um, that might end up getting favored. So we'll see what happens on Sunday. But I'm really looking forward to seeing can Will Mallory step up and be the guy. Um, take the reins of that position. Um, you know, the, the first team offensive line, we already know who they are. We we know what we expect from them. But behind that, it'll be interesting to see how we go, right? On the second team, it's Blake Freeland and Matt Gonzalez as tackles. Um, and then on the inside, right, where do they want to line Tanner Borlini up? Where are they putting Danny Pinter? Um, where is it after that? What do they do after that? Jake Witt, what's he look like coming into his second year? Dalton Tucker, there are people thinking that he might make the team. So, hey, what does Dalton Tucker look like? Where do they have him at guard? Do they put him um, at tackle at some point since he has that versatility? What do they do? And because Wesley French just recently went to season-ending IR, you have Ryan Cole. What does he do coming in? So maybe we'll look at them, but really we know what we get from the offensive line. But then when you look at the defense, what we're looking at here, even though Latu slotted a second string behind Quiddy Pay, he's actually the starter on the opposite side. So having him um, as a starter next to Quiddy Pay, DeForest Buckner, Grover Stewart, and then what happens after that? We're really going to be looking at can we get consistent pressure with the guys we're rolling out there? Can we get consistent pressure? Can we still stop the run while going hard after the quarterback? That's what we're really looking for. And the starters for Denver are are going to be playing probably about the same amount as the starters uh, for us. So it seems like the, the first team is going to have a good go at the first team. It is going to be Jarrett Stidham. Um, so take that with the grain of salt. I don't know if he's necessarily the one that you're wanting to gauge your defense on. But nonetheless, our ones will go against other ones in live action um, and all the way down the board, right? Second team, third team. We'll get to see um, how our depth looks throughout this game. That's what we're looking for from the defense. Can our guys consistently get pressure throughout the game? Okay, Bo Nix is going to be in at some point, and I think Bo Nix is a very good quarterback. I think Bo Nix is going to be one of the elite quarterbacks in the NFL over time. So, in my opinion, it's going to be interesting to see how our second team defense decide, or ends up doing against Bo Nix um, whenever he gets in the game, right? Whether second team, third team, whatever the Broncos decide to do. Uh, I know they have him slotted as third team, but who knows what they're going to do in game. But I just want to see how does our depth on defense do against Bo Nix. I'll be really watching for that because, again, I think Bo Nix is going to be really good in the NFL. Linebackers, we know what we're getting from there. Hopefully Jalen Carlisle can suit up and get on the field. Um, Craig Young, hometown kid. Um, hopefully, you know, we see him and he's able to make some plays. But we'll we'll kind of pay attention to that because of the storyline. That's all that's really there. We know what we're getting from our linebackers this year. But then the secondary, that's what we're really looking at. We want to see how the corners perform. Jalen Jones has been struggling in the later portions of practice after having um, what seemed like a really good start to training camp, you know, kind of falling off. A bit he had one rough day ever since then it seems like he's uh getting burnt uh after that so confidence down for Jalen Jones at the tail end of practice today they had Dallas Flowers go take reps with the first team in 11 on 11 um and he ended up getting uh, mossed on by Alec Pierce but nonetheless they had Dallas Flowers in there Dallas Flowers looked good as cornerback one at the start of last season so what's going to happen with the cornerback position with Flowers coming from the injury 
I expect him to have more of a limited role, which is why I think he'd be more of a depth piece. But, hey, maybe he can get on the field and make plays. So I'm going to be watching to see what happens there. Um, when Micah Abraham gets on the field, I'm going to be very glued to that, seeing how he performs um, in his role when he gets on the field. I think he can be a really good piece for us in the future. And then, of course, the conversation from the secondary goes to safety, where you have Julian Blackman, of course. Um, but where are they going to have him? At the tail end of practice, they had Julian Blackman at free safety Ronnie Harrison at strong safety going into the game it's seemingly supposed to be Julian Blackman at strong safety Nate Cross at free safety who's going to make plays are they going to switch this by the time they get to the game will it be Rodney Thomas starting at free safety we'll have to see exactly what happens but that's what we're watching is that safety position specifically free safety that's why Rodney Thomas is on the thumbnail because the safety position, just like that tight end position, is somebody going to step up and take the reins? Or are we going to have a video right after that game talking about how the Colts need to go out and get Justin Simmons? And of course, on this channel, um, it won't be right after because I have to go do a work obligation and do something for a few hours. But we will get you a video as soon as possible. And hopefully we're talking more about how the safeties were able to step up, make some plays. Maybe somebody had a really good game uh, for the amount of time that they played. Hopefully that's where we're at is somebody's making plays. If that doesn't happen, if the guys aren't making plays, if Jared Stidham and Bo Nix and Zach Wilson are all making plays, then – Hey, we're, we have a problem, and we need to go get Justin Simmons. And, of course, again, we'll have a video about that if we need to, whatever the case is on any of that. Um, we're going to have a video, so be subscribed, have notifications on, so you get notified when those videos come out. Um, and also, remember, we are going to be streaming during the first half of the game before I have to go do my work obligation. While the starters are playing, we'll be live on this channel, so make sure you come in for that. Come hang out. Little Colts football. It's the first dose of Colts football that we get this season. Come hang out with me during the game. And, uh, yeah, just to recap, uh, like I said, the tight end position, one we're really going to be looking at from the quarterbacks. It's, um, you know, the third-string quarterback. Who do we think is going to end up being there right now? Sam Ellinger, probably the leader by a long shot. But we'll see if any of these other guys make plays. I think Jason Bean is somebody to watch um, even before this. If you watched the videos earlier in the offseason when I was talking about Jason Bean. I thought he was a dark horse to make the team and take that emergency quarterback role uh, with what he can do in the Shane Steichen offense. So I'm going to be watching that pretty carefully. Going to be watching the backup running backs to see um, if Evan Hull can step up and be that guy. I'm going to be watching to see which tight end specifically Will Mallory, see who steps up. I think Will Mallory could end up having a uh, good game, at least for the time um, that he's on the field, right? Nobody's ever really going to have a whole bunch of stats in the preseason. Um, but hopefully we see somebody step up. I think it could be Will Mallory. And then on the defense side, just looking for consistent edge pressure on all, all the quarterbacks throughout the game. Just want our guys to continue to get pressure. I think we have a pretty deep defensive line all the way around, so – we hopefully can get to the quarterback at a consistent rate. Linebackers, we know we're getting from them. I'm really just looking to see what Carlisle looks like on the field and see Craig Young get on the field. And then in the secondary, what happens with the corners? Um, how does the playing time go? Who's starting? Who's second team? That whole bit. How's Micah Abraham do? And then um, through with the safeties, Want to see who steps up, right? Um, does Jalen Simpson get on the field at all? Um, but really, what's going on with that safety position? Safety, tight end, those are the big ones. That's why they made the thumbnail. And, of course, again, I appreciate you stopping by for another video. Subscribe, have notifications on that whole bit like we talked about earlier. And, again, thank you for stopping by. And, as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.